Now let's learn more about the outcomes or the consequences of job satisfaction. How does job satisfaction influence the people and the organization? It can increase job performance. Happy workers in general are more likely to be productive workers. Increased organizational citizenship behaviors. Satisfied employees tend to be more likely to talk positively about the organization, to help their managers and their coworkers, to go above and beyond the normal expectations of their job. Increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. There is some evidence that satisfied employees can increase customer satisfaction and loyalty, probably because happy employees are higher performers and customers pick up on this excellence. Increased life satisfaction. There are some researchers in Europe who found that job satisfaction was positively correlated with life satisfaction as well. And people's attitudes and experiences at work sometimes spill over into their personal lives. When good things happen at work, it makes the rest of our life better. Something else that is interesting to note is that when people become unemployed, life satisfaction tends to decrease. Job satisfaction is also correlated with decreased counterproductive work behaviors. People who are highly dissatisfied with their jobs are more likely to engage in counterproductive work behaviors. These are the destructive behaviors that make it more difficult for other people to do their jobs and that harm the organization. Things like substance abuse, stealing supplies from work, too much gossiping, too much socializing, absenteeism, tardiness, turnover. When people are satisfied with their jobs, they tend to miss less work than when they are not satisfied with work. The same pattern occurs with turnover. The more satisfied, the less likely people are to leave. Counterproductive work behaviors don't just happen. The behaviors often follow negative attitudes. Sometimes these attitudes have been developing brewing for months or even years. This is another reason why it's important for us to regularly and consistently measure employees' attitudes. We can identify trends across the organization or we can zoom in to individual people and see if there is something that we can do as managers to have a positive impact on their attitudes. Let's take a closer look at how people express their dissatisfaction with a job. This particular model predicts four reactions, responses to job satisfaction. We call this the exit, voice, loyalty, neglect framework, which I personally think is a lot to say in just a few words but its name identifies the four responses. We can divide them across two dimensions, constructive or destructive and active or passive. The two constructive options, the ones that provide value and are functional, are voice and loyalty. The voice response includes speaking up and trying to improve things, trying to make things better. People might make suggestions or discuss problems with their supervisors or even join a union and start participating. The loyalty response means passively but optimistically waiting for things to improve on their own. 
People may speak up for the organization when other people criticize it and patiently wait for the organization to do the right thing. There are also two destructive options, exit and neglect. The reason these options are destructive is because they hurt the organization. The organization loses when people leave and when people neglect their work. The exit response includes all behaviors that help an employee leave the organization. Everything from searching on Indeed for a new job to taking the afternoon off to go to an interview at another organization to resigning The neglect response is passively allowing conditions to get worse, not being proactive about fixing the situation. This might include things like chronic absenteeism or tardiness, as well as reduced effort, making more errors, not paying attention to what you're doing or what you're saying, especially in front of other people. Exit and neglect behaviors encompass our performance, productivity, absenteeism, and turnover. Voice and loyalty are behaviors that help us tolerate unpleasant situations or reestablish our control. Models like this one add to our knowledge of the consequences of job satisfaction. In the next part of this lecture, we are going to learn about some other job attitudes that are important to organizational psychologists.